the crowded, busting tourist attractions across the globe were quickly transformed into lonely, quiet places, nearly abandoned. The boasting economy of the world's considered to be great nations have drastically dropped off to the lowest. Schools are closed, all public gatherings are cancelled, even weddings, worships, graduations, and wakes. Nations, great and small, bowed down to the idea of shutting down. The rate of unemployment rose up to the peak in just a matter of a month. It is an absolute fact that coronavirus has changed the world. Whatever is broken in society gets revealed for just how broken it is. The lack of medical facilities, the need for emergency plans, and the necessity of having to address the health of the nation at its best are now given a special attention. Yet in every crisis and emergencies, opportunities may arise. Through the hole that opens up, we see a glimpse of compassion and unity among world leaders. Borders are closed tightly, but not the act of humanity. We have experienced lockdown in our homes, but we come together as a community in prayer, in calling out for everyone to at least think of what we can do. This crisis offers opportunity for families to reconnect deeply, for parents to be with their kids 24-7. Coronavirus crisis opens up the opportunity of talking to God, of reflecting to what He wants us to be. It leads the most powerful nations to look up and realize that only the divine power of God can fight the invisible.